So imagine <coughs> uh, this circle here that you see in this presentation, and that this circle represents all the human knowledge that exists to this day. So everything within this circle is the knowledge that is available to us. And of course, no single individual has the knowledge of everything that we know, maybe computers. Uh, Google, for example, but as an individual, it's very difficult to know everything. But here it is, this is the, all the knowledge that contains to this date. And probably after you finish elementary school, you gain some knowledge, you know how to add numbers, and you know about the first president of the United States. And there you get to start gaining some of your knowledge one piece by piece. And maybe by the time you finish your high school, you have expanded your knowledge a bit more, and you're able to scale up uh, the, the, the landscape of uh, the current knowledge that is happening with us, within us. But what's going to happen is once you enter university and start specializing in some of your fields. So my, for, my, for me, I studied biology and, and computer informatics, so I was, I've decided to take on more special specialty roles, so I majored in, in, in the field, so therefore I get a little bit of uh, specialty in the field, right? That's where it's kind of represented by this little bulge of knowledge. And most of uh, my colleagues here have then decided to pursue further into their specialty and gain into master's degree. So here, what you see is the protrusion of your knowledge for that special field. And over the years, during your graduate school, you study and you read lots of papers, re you read the latest technologies and latest research out there in the world, and you really get to reach to the boundary of the knowledge of that field. So this is really a, a picture of uh, the research that are currently ongoing, it really gives you the forefront information that is available to us. And you can reach there by, by reading a lot of papers and studying them. But of course, uh, once you are at this boundary, um, you can investigate further and you can start que asking questions and start to ask yourself how I can expand this knowledge that we have. And you can spend a lot of years, and it might, it's not always easy, but you, know, you spend a lot of hours doing research and investigating at one point, you will start to break away this boundary and expand, uh, making a little dent outside this. And that really is what PhD is. <laughs> so you might be wondering, PhD really is an expansion of knowledge that we have right now, and being able to contribute that knowledge to the worldwide. And you might think, as a PhD student, some of us who have gone through this process is, you know, what is the importance of this little dent? But if you could imagine that all the PhD students or all the researchers that are being out there in the world, we, if we all collectively expand the knowledge, these circles will get bigger and bigger, and we will start to expand the knowledge that could extremely be useful, not only for our research purposes, for, but for medicine and for uh, applications worldwide. So, if we all keep pushing and pushing our knowledge, uh, we really believe that we will one day be able to provide this, not turn the knowledge into something that is very useful in a society.